A few months ago, we discussed that L1 and L2 regularization help us deal with the overfitting issues in neural networks. L1 regularization pushes some of the features to have very small weights, weights close to zero, allowing some other important features to associate with large weights in the neural network. L2 regularization tries to make the weights less than 1, but L2 regularization is a bit reluctant to make the weights too close to 0. We discussed how L1 regularization might help us in feature selection. It can make some of the weights associated with non-prominent features close to 0, which means they have no impact on the prediction. L1 can also make some of the weights associated with the prominent features large. That means the features associated with the large weights will have high impact on the prediction. As an example, consider this neural network where we have x1, x2 and three other features. Consider that these three features are random noises. If we create our data set or if we have a data set such that y or our target variable only depends on x1, x2 and y does not depend on x noise 1, x noise 2 and x noise 3, these three features at all, in that case, if we design our cost function to include the mean squared error loss and the L1 regularization, then the weights associated with X noise 1, X noise 2, and X noise 3, that means these three weights, these three weights, and these three weights, they should be pretty close to zero and weights associated with these three links and also these three links, they should be higher than the weights in this part of the neural network. So now what we are going to do is we'll be creating a data set in such a way that it has five features and the first two features will help us construct the target value. So the target value will be depending on x1 and x2 and there will be no relationship between the target value and these three features in the data set. We start with our regular imports, then we create our data set in such a way that we have x1, we have x2, and then we have x noise 1, x noise 2, and x noise 3 just like we discussed before. Then we create y. Notice that y is a linear combination of x1 and x2. So y is 3 times x1, 1.5 times x2. Then we add a little bit of noise to make the data set look quite real. This data frame helps us later in processing the data. Now we pre-process the data a bit, we standardize it, we split the data set into training and test, and we take 20% of the data for testing and 80% uh, of the data for training. So out of the 1000 samples we generated, 800 samples will be used in our training, and uh, 200 will be used for testing. We create a tensor dataset from the training. We also create a data loader where actually we take the training dataset and in batches of size 32. Then we create our neural network. Here notice that we have five inputs. Then we have a hidden layer with three neurons and we have one output. Our neural network will look like this one. Our forward method is pretty simple here in this case. Our function for training, which we are calling train model. Note that here we pass our model, model definition, which would be practically the one we just saw. Then we also send our train loader. Then we have one parameter here, L1 strength, which is actually this alpha parameter. So this is our L1 strength. Then within the epochs, we have this mean squared error loss, which we defined here. So we have mean squared error loss. And not, notice here that our L1 penalty 
is the summation of all the weights we have in the neural network. Then also we compute the total loss, which is the mean squared error loss, then L1 strength, which is alpha parameter, uh, times the L1 penalty, which we just computed by summing up all the weights. Then we do the necessary steps of backpropagation. So this is our training. The main idea here is that we will be creating two models, one model with L1 regularization and the other model without L1 regularization. We can set L1 underscore strength to zero to create the model without regularization. Here are the two models. So we create a model definition model, then we create our trained model where we call that function train model for training by sending model, then our training data loader, and we set L1 strength to 0.1. So trained model will have the model that we are training with L1 regularization. Then model two is the same definition, which we pass here on the train model again with the same train loader with L1 strength being 0.0, .0 that means there will be no regularization. So this trained model no regu, this variable will contain the trained model without regularization. So now that we have two of our models, one is trained model with L1 regularization and trained model with no regularization, we can check the weights. So here we have the code that will provide us the weight parameters of the trained model with regularization. Notice here that in our weights in the first layer, we have five values. These five values are indicating the five first connections with the three neurons. So that would be this one with x1, this one with x2, this one with x noise 1, this one with x noise 2, and this one with x noise 3. Then in the code, the second five would be indicating the second one from x1, the second one from x2, the second one from x noise 1, the second one from x noise 2, and the second one from x noise 3. The third row with five values are indicating the third link of each of those five inputs. This is the output after the second layer, and there we have three values. These three values are indicating these three lines from the hidden layer to the output. Here we are actually printing the corresponding weights of the trained model without regularization. So we have the weights of the neural network for the trained model with regularization and we have the weights of the neural network for the trained model without regularization. I drew the weights of the connection between the inputs and the neurons of the first layer in a table. So these 15 numbers are these 15 numbers. Notice here that with no 